you are watching Redicon. Let's look at our first image. Image of a hand comes very often in the exam and must be carefully evaluated. We will not focus on big and obvious injuries as you will pick them up anyway. This talk is more about review areas and hidden zones. Pay close attention to the basis of phalanges for subtle fractures. An exam favorite is boxer's fracture at the neck of first metacarpal and the fracture of second metacarpal head. Do not forget to zoom up and see bases of metacarpals, especially thumb and little finger. This film on review looks normal. Let's look at case 2. First thing is to zoom it up. Zooming makes it easy to see a fracture at the base of proximal phalanx of the little finger. It is worth paying attention to how you write this abnormality. In many countries, it is normal to call it fifth proximal phalanx fracture, which is okay. However, generally UK radiologists aren't familiar with that. The usual way of describing it in UK would be fractured base of proximal phalanx of the little finger. Let's look at case 3. Case 3 has a very, very important learning point for the rapid reporting. Before that, let's zoom it up. As we know that we expect to see a gap of 1 to 2 mm between all carpal bones, when I zoom this film up, you can better see the space is not visualized between 4th and 5th CMC joints, carpal metacarpal joints, and that part is highlighted as red. Let's put a normal and abnormal CMC gaps side by side. There is overlapping or impaction at the basis of 4th and 5th metacarpal and hamid bone. So this is the case of fracture dislocation of 4th and 5th CMC joint, but you can see how clear it was on the zoomed up images. Case 4. First things first, let's zoom up. Zooming definitely helps. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for new courses. For more modules and radiology CMAs, please visit www.radicon.org.